Have you ever had that urge to help people but you never found like someone to help with? You know, either helping a brother with their homework or th th your sister with uh, solving an algebraic problem or something. Um, this is the helper in which Wanda and Sylvia are in, well, it's mostly Wander's problem. He can't find someone to help. And that's basically the the plot of this episode. Um, Wander is doing his best to just help someone with something. Like, for example, this guy with, with his car uh, trying to fix it so he can go on his merry ways. Uh, help this guy, this other guy, I mean, uh, catch a cab. But it's actually the guy who was in the car from before, uh, trying to just help someone, either helping someone cross the street or helping them uh, by opening a door or even helping someone just with anything. And that's basically the whole plot of this episode. It's just Wonder wanting to help people, even when Lord Hater pops his head in this in this uh, planet, in this diner where Wonder and Sylvia are just having lunch. Uh, Hater's just there to order something and just go on with conquering the galaxy. And it's sort of like this episode was made to show how Wonder can go a bit nuts in terms of helping people. Yes, that's basically his life story helping people but with this episode it shows how it's sort of like his necessity and but at the same time it brings up a very peculiar question is this by force by necessity or because he's trying to just be nice is this just what he likes to do, what he wants to do, or is it because he's trying to just uh, be reformed of something? We really don't know. This is why this episode, even though I don't like it on paper, I like it in theory. You know, I like it in, I don't necessarily like it in practice, even though I can watch this episode without any problems. But I do like it in theory because of those questions. Is Wander just doing this because that's what he likes to do? Or because of what happened in his past? Is it something that's bothering him? And that's why he's, all, he's always chipper, he's always happy. And he rarely gets upset. And that's why he likes helping people? Or is it because of something in his, from his past? We really don't know. And like I mentioned, and I think I mentioned this in one of the past, in one of my past vlogs, in which uh, maybe uh, well, Craig McCracken mentioned that he is trying to keep uh, Wonder and Sylvia's past open for interpretation, and which is why I really like that idea, but also dislike it. I really want to know what happened uh, to Wander in his past. Like, where did he come from? Why is why is it? sort of like his mission to help people have everything happy and of course uh, it could be just the simple the simplest thing he grew up with a happy family and he's trying to spread that happiness across the galaxy or maybe he didn't have a happy life and that's why he's trying to do this uh, but at the same time this is just open for interpretation which is what Craig said Um, Wander with just trying to help people he starts bothering them like the people on this planet and th the only thing that they ask of him to is to help them get rid of him and with that he's just happy like okay I'm gonna go away bye bye I at least I helped you with that yay and he's only happy because of that and I, and I find it so weird mm. oh god it is just weird uh, I'm gonna... I was gonna say I'm, I keep this episode in the what pile, but it's mostly a dislike and like pile, or maybe just favorites. But this episode is just... Eh. It's weird, but like I mentioned, I like it in theory. With the questions it brings up, and also 
Oh, Hader's not conquering this planet. It's kind of odd. Normally he does conquer a planet, but he's just there to pick up some grub for his watchdogs, and that's really kind of nice of him. <laughs> hmm. Nothing else to say. <laughs>